Hello guys, we are back and here we are having Ultraman Blazer, the trailer. I remember there was a comment I read which said, oh, when you finish Deka, you're going to be watching the new Ultraman Blazer series. Honestly, I can't say I'm going to watch it. I, like, I'm definitely trying to be honest. I do not really want to keep doing Ultra series like that. But I think I've said it a lot on the channel, especially during my live videos that I would love to move on to new things. I have a few reactions that <laughs> because of my illness and a lot of things and work and a lot of things surrounding my personal life, I couldn't keep up doing the reactions per se. Yeah. So I really don't know. I can't say no. I'm not definitely saying no. I'm just saying it's it's open for you know, new things, but I can just say, hey, I'm going to do this like i promise it now usually if i promise something i'm definitely going to do it but i i can do that i'm going to f myself but it's definitely up now there i'll definitely check out maybe the first or two episodes you know to see how good it is and we'll see how we move forward from there i have a lot of series to watch like i've never finished the ultraman anime like i finished the whole season one i've not done season two uh what again demon slayer i've been finished season one slime that was reacting i haven't finished it like there's just a lot of things that are just in the backlog of reactions and i get asked to react to a lot of things daily i've just not had the time to edit a lot of them but yeah let's keep going with this reaction and see how it goes so ultraman laser let's go my guy okay Okay. Let's see. Is it is it okay? Okay, it's working. Okay. Let's get on to the reaction. Let's go. Okay, definitely just a teaser trailer. Teasing us to Buaya. You naughty naughty. Okay. Kind of an ominous vibe there. The main character looks a bit older. Maybe I'm wrong. Lasers. They're bringing back the coins. Well, they said stone, but it looks like the coins of Z. Okay, the main character is older. Okay. It looks like he's practicing some sort of martial arts. Let's go. Oh, oh, so that jump there, they had like a robot thing there. Okay, okay. I love the soundtrack. It's killing his. What the hell is he holding there? Oh, wow. Okay. Coming up next one. Okay. I guess this is it then. Um, my thoughts. I would definitely say it's giving me I'm not the biggest Ultraman fan what I mean by that is I like the show where I've seen so far with what I have seen and I can remember uh, in terms of shows I've seen Z Trigger and Decker at the moment I've seen a couple of movies uh, just once for the reaction I've not seen a lot of it like I've not seen like twice or you know to be able to say oh I remember this properly not definitely not but I would definitely say that I did a reaction to 
the trailer of a movie called Shin Ultraman. And it's definitely giving me the vibe, that kind of ominous, creepy vibe that it's having that I had from that movie. And it looks like they're bringing back a lot of original tropes from the earlier seasons of uh, Ultraman. The guy who is going to or who is potentially being the host of Ultraman Blazer is uh, an adult. Like when I mean an adult, like someone really older, he's not like young like the guy who was controlling possibly someone like tiger or haruki you know not that young or even uh kengo from trigger or even the guy from Deca. he's not that young all of them they were adults but he's like way more older i would say in age um he he looks like he's he has a lot of military experience so definitely maybe some of the combat moves are going to be a bit different instead of just the like wrestling thing that you see a lot of times you saw he was trying to do some martial art thing there and then the weapon he had looked like a lance so it was good in terms of the clothing um it said blazer is he like some of adam b type of thing where it's like he has like maybe two different types of powers is that why there's a blue one red um he's giving me sort of like ultraman z kind of story as well mixed with ultraman saga i believe that is the name there was an ultraman that combined with when three ultraman combined and he was looking at big crystal there so i think especially with like the stone or the coin thing they're kind of bringing back same as in z so they might be giving you an old vibe you know and mix a bit with the new ones trying, probably trying to sell toys or sell merch or something like that so they'll give you all vibe they're like mm, something and then the new ones with probably the new kids as well or more teenagers or something so they're, they're making things a little bit similar there so i'm gonna and i think i saw like a robot type thing like something like with the storage in z so they might have some sort of robot that's also combating like um you know the monsters the big kaijus so that was interesting to see I, I can't wait to check out the first two episodes just like i said i'm not confirming that i'm going to definitely watch the series but it's, it's definitely an eye opener i'll definitely say that it was impressive um can't wait to know maybe what is the law of the show also i noticed that a lot of people were kind of speculating that since trigger and decker were kind of like modern versions of tiger and Dino, kind of not really but kind of the the next one was going to be the next guy gaia or whatever his name is i think it's gaia but then i do not think blazer is kind of related to him at all in whatever shape or form i i do not think so else it, it would have been it would have been known but i don't think so but you guys tell me down in the comment if i'm wrong if i'm right you guys let me know but definitely these are my thoughts it has that z vibe it has that creepy shin ultraman vibe they, they brought back the like code name thing that they said in the shin ultraman trailer i believe in terms of like the kaiju names that they give to like kaiju and stuff the way they name them so giving that old vibe the host is older um the way his armor has been made is, is kind of like a mix of things that I would have said that I've seen like an Ultraman saga, a bit of Z as well. I even got to say uh, Ultraman uh, the, the next, you know, a little bit. Uh, kind of, kind of not. Yeah, it, it, a little bit, a little bit. So, yeah. The transformation device looks alright, not too bad, but i definitely like to know what the color palette within the red and blue thing maybe means something or the horn as well if he has any particular power potentially he might have kaiju powers you never know i don't know if there's an ultraman that has like uh kaiju powers like already ingrained in himself i know there's an ultraman i think his name is victor if i'm not wrong who uses like kaiju pots to fight I think I've seen it in some of my Ultraman request clips that a lot of you guys have requested in the past. If I'm wrong on the Ultraman, I'm sorry, but I'm thinking it's victory. But if it's not, 
But again, I apologize. I don't really know them that well. I think he uses kaiju parts. But what I'm talking about with this Ultraman Blaze, I mean, it's in his base core form. He might already have like kaiju something ingrained in him. And that's what I'm thinking about the horn. I might be wrong. And it's just like dress palette just for it. I don't know. But yeah, definitely look out for it. Tell me what you thought about my reaction and tell me what your thoughts are below and what are your expectations for the show. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and share and see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Cheers.